They are lining the railings, snapping photos, and trying to comprehend the sheer force of Mother Nature. Isn't that amazing? Like other visitors, Leola Van Ravensway is running out of adjectives to describe the powerful sight. It's really remarkable. And I'm glad there's a dam that's holding water back. The Gavin's Point Dam is holding back some water, but not much these days. The floodgates are busted wide open, releasing hundreds of thousands of cubic feet per second, more than double the previous record. So how much water is that? 160,000 cubic feet of water per second would put three and a half feet of water on the field at Arrowhead Stadium every second. Project manager Dave Becker said the unprecedented runoff is washing debris downstream, causing problems for the dam's hydropower plant. To keep the turbines cranking out electricity, a crane is scooping piles of logs out of the reservoir every day and moving them away from the dam on a barge. We've had to bring in crane operators from both Omaha and Philadelphia to help us keep up with the workload. Standing on top of the dam, you can hear the power of the water. Here on the lake side, it's muffled, but walk across the bridge, peer over the railing, the roar becomes almost deafening. And here's the truly amazing visual. Check out these photos of what Gavin's Point Dam usually looks like. And normally, this is a dry spillway during the summer. But this year, so much water that a temporary barrier had to be installed just to keep people from getting smacked by waves leaping over the railing. Leola's grandkids insisted she check it out in person. They're the one that talked me into coming down here. They wanted me to see it. Grandma, you have to see it. This summer's must see reality show, playing out like never before. Near Yankton, South Dakota, with photographer Andy Pollard, Ryan Calf, NBC Action News.